This new SAT math question features a new skill that College Board is testing more and more on the new SAT than it did on the old SAT. That skill is based on the equation of a circle, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. This equation is useful because from it we can find the center and radius of the circle. The center can be found by taking the value of h and k in the equation and creating the coordinate point h comma k. And the radius can be found by just taking the value of r. Now let's apply this equation to the problem at hand. The problem gives us the equation of a circle, but in a different form, not the standard form that we saw at the top. Let's focus on this negative 7 first, since it seems like that would be r squared. It's on the right side of the equation. However, square root of negative 7 to get us the value of r would end up being some weird imaginary number, which can't really be the radius. So we have to use a technique called completing the square in order to get a square on the right side of the equation that could then be square rooted to represent r, the radius. In order to complete the square, we need to look at the left side of the equation, and we need to look for a coefficient attached to one of the variables. In this case, it is negative 8. In order to complete the square using this equation, we would take negative 8, divide by 2, which gives us negative 4, and then we would square it, which gives us 16. Now 16 is a square because it has two roots that are identical, 4 and 4, or negative 4 and negative 4. Now that we have this square, let's add it to both sides of the equation and see what happens. When we add 16 to the right side of the equation, negative 7 becomes 9, which is a square, its roots being 3 and 3. So in this case, r would basically be 3. However, the question is asking for the center of the circle, which we can only find with h and k, so we have to look again to the left side of the equation. On the left side, we've created a quadratic expression with y squared minus 8y plus 16, which can be broken down into two roots of y minus 4 and y minus 4. If you were to FOIL those two binomials, you would get the same expression above. And we can't forget that we have x squared still at the front of the equation, and that this equation equals 9. Now these two binomials, because they are the same, y minus 4, y minus 4, we can rewrite them as y minus 4 squared. This expression looks a lot more familiar because we saw it up in the standard form equation above, y minus k squared. So we have to rewrite x squared as x minus h squared. Since x doesn't have a coefficient next to it in the equation in the question, we can rewrite it as x minus 0 squared. If we were to square x minus 0 squared, we would still get x squared. Now that the equation is in standard form, we know what the value of h is, and we know what the value of k is. The value of h would be 0, and the value of k would be 4. So the center of the circle would be h comma k or 0 comma 4, which is also answer C. So let's bubble that in as our answer. There you go. Really hard new SAT math question. And on the old SAT, it might be enough to know the standard form equation at the top of the screen there. On the new SAT, you're going to need to know how to manipulate that equation and maybe other equations like it in the problem. 
If you want more help with questions like this, or in the new SAT math section in general, tap the tutoring button at the bottom of the screen. As part of a comprehensive tutoring program, our tutors can help you become an expert at standard form equations in the new SAT math or on the ACT math so that you know how to use them in tricky situations like this one.